Hi Taurus, welcome to your love reading for the month of June 2019. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you're a cross watcher and you're watching because you're curious about a Taurus or you got your eye on a Taurus, um, you're more than welcome to hang out and watch the video. But I do have specific cross watcher videos for all the signs. So if you want to watch the cross watcher video after this one, feel free to do so. There's a link in the description that will take you to the cross watcher videos. Or if you're a Taurus and you want to cross watch for a sign, you can check that out as well. But we're going to see what's happening for you, my dears, in the month of June for Taurus. So songs have been popping up in my mind uh, for the different uh, signs as I've been shuffling. And the song that's coming up for you, Taurus, is uh, You Were Always On My Mind. Uh, it was originally done by Elvis. And it's been remade a whole bunch of times. The version that I was hearing uh, is the version by the Pet Shop Boys. But, um, you know, you can check out Elvis's version. You can check out and see other versions if you want to hear the song. But something is being healed for you, Taurus. Something's being healed for you, okay? We're going to see what is going on. We'll see what the cards have to say. And then after we look at these cards, I'm going to pull a message to you, uh, for you, from your soulmate, from this message deck. Uh, and we'll see what message is coming up for you from your soulmate. So you've got three of wands, uh, Taurus, and you're ready to move past anything from the past. And you're ready to come into abundance. You're ready to come into success. Okay, some of you have multiple parties here that you're having to pick or to choose from in love some of you are having options uh and some of you are just you're ready for something new you're ready to expand you're ready to move on from anything that you feel has been holding you back or you're coming up with a uh, creative ways of overcoming the problems or the issues that have been in, in a relationship and for some of you this will require some kind of travel some of you are preparing to travel some of you are in this energy where you're really trying to figure out if you're going to stay in a relationship or leave. And there's somebody else that's tempting you. And you may be in this energy where you're like, I'm going to have to go see this person. I'm going to have to really, really compare these two things and figure out what's going to be better for me or figure out what feels more right for me. Some of you are having to pick between a few different options. And if you are the one where you're feeling torn um, about who to stay with someone is going to step up and make it difficult for you to leave like for some of you that you're always on my mind you know tell me that your love hasn't died give me another chance some of you are having somebody beg you like just beg you please please pick me or please give me another chance please before you move on with your life give me another chance some of you are dealing with that kind of an energy other ones of you Taurus um, you are having to heal a relationship. It might not necessarily be a romantic one. There might be family issues that are coming up or there might be somebody who's trying to work on their relationship with you that's not a romantic relationship. But pay attention to it because the reason why it's coming up now is there's something about this relationship that has been slowing down your love life. It's been blocking your love life in some way. There's some kind of issue here that's being fed by the uh, problem in the relationship or, or the, you know, dysfunction or miscommunication or whatever it is. And once this relationship is healed, that issue or that cause will also be healed, which is going to open you up to more success in your love life. Something needs to be visited. Something is asking you to expand the way you're seeing the situation, the way you're seeing yourself, the way that you're seeing others. There is a very strong spiritual vibe in your love life for June. I have to be honest with you. Um, this is very deep, Taurus. This is very, very deep. And I think it's because when Taurus settles down, Taurus doesn't play when it comes to settling down, right? I get a lot of hate on Taurus in, in the comments some sometimes on the videos of people will come in and say, Taurus is, you know, terrible. And, you know, like, they'll just like kind of Taurus and Scorpio that you die. Oh, you know, you guys are all cheaters and you're this and you're that, whatever. And I think what people don't realize is that when Taurus or Scorpio 
uh, is really, really ready to commit or, or make a life with somebody, they do take that very seriously and they don't mess around. So if they're not there, if they're not in that level, you know, they can be maybe seen as wishy-washy. But I do feel, Taurus, that you're in this energy where you really, really are thinking about your forever. You really are thinking about the rest of your life. You really are thinking about stability. And so as a result, you're really, really examining very closely um, a current relationship or an ex who's wanting to have another chance or maybe an old flame who you never really were together but you guys never really had a chance to explore things you're really analyzing you're really analyzing you're maybe even nitpicking these options some of you you know who you want to be with you're like i should have turned right when i turned left and there's just this one person can't get them out of my mind um, and, and you're just in this energy where you're like, I have to go see them. I have to spend time with them. I have to get this out of my head. I have to know one way or another, if I can have a life with this person or no, and you'll come into the energy of healing. So there's that very, very strong, very, very strong connection that you're revisiting. And for some of you, Taurus, you're the one who's saying like, you know, maybe I didn't treat you the way I could have. Maybe I didn't let you know how I felt about you, but you're always on my mind. And I really want a chance to like, you know, just be able to explore this relationship with you. So some of you are in that energy. Some of you have somebody that's in that energy towards you. But this is a really big game changer for you in love, Taurus. This is like your love energy is shifting. Your love energy is shifting. You've got King of Wands here. So again, this could be a temptation, you know. Uh, this could be a temptation. Some of you uh, are uh, stepping out on somebody to be with this person. Or some of you are feeling tempted to step out on a person to be with this person. Or some of you, yeah, I, I mean, because sometimes for me in love readings, King of Wands is a lot of fire. It's a lot of passion. And sometimes it does mean it's a temptation that's coming in, that you're having a hard time resisting. For some of you, this could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. You may be dealing with a, a Sagittarius, a Leo. Um, oh my goodness why am I drawing a blank I do these videos back to back I swear to you I know my signs Aries <laughs> that's what it was man my mind starts drawing a blank after a while Aries Sagittarius or Leo I swear to you I know my signs um, but yeah so some of you may be dealing with a fire sign or you may have fire in your moon or in your rising that's going to be coming in very very strongly if you are a Taurus that has fire in your moon or in your rising I strongly, strongly suggest that you watch your moon and rising uh, sign because this is going to be very dominant in you. This part of your personality is going to be very dominant in your love life in June. Okay, watch your moon and rising sign regardless, but there's just there's a lot of fire here energy for some of you that's coming in for some of you it's within yourself where you're just you're standing up and you're finally having the courage to go after what you want or you're feeling this intense passion about a relationship and you're the one who's like you know just give me this chance here to prove myself to you right um you know for some of you it could be reversed but i do feel a lot of the times towards for a lot of you it's that there's just a certain connection that you're having a hard time putting out of your mind and before you make a choice or before you make a decision you're like i'm i have to revisit this connection i've got to figure this out because it's, it's making me crazy um next you've got the death card you're transforming you're changing you're coming into a new energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio. You may have a very significant connection with a Scorpio who is very significant in your life who, or who may be helping you through the transition. Uh, but overall, it's like you're just changing, Taurus, and your love energy is changing. I said this, and the death card is really confirming this for you. So when we have the death card coming up, it's letting us know that uh the way you do love is changing you know the person that you are is changing the energy is upgrading or graduating it's time for one way of things to end and come into a new way you know the death card is very much the transformation the rebirth the phoenix rising from the ashes and you're in this energy where you have a very clear idea of what you're wanting to feel and experience and so certain things are having to end right for some of you that that family situation that's coming up or that friendship situation that's coming up that issue needs to end so that you can come into clarity 
within your energy and have more success in your love life or not repeat certain issues in your love life because that other thing is going to be resolved from you know your other relationships or connections your death card here is letting us know that you are really fully prepared and ready to let go of someone or something you're taking a risk you're taking a chance and a lot of the other readings that i did um i got that a lot of the other signs were being tempted and the message that was coming in for them was be careful be cautious because if you are someone that you're being tempted by another relationship you're gonna get caught the truth is coming out into the open like it's really hard to keep secrets right now for some reason like that's what i was feeling in the energy so i was like if you don't want to risk your relationship be careful and don't step out Taurus I don't feel like you're sneaking around I feel like you're being very open and honest about this right some of you may even be asking to spend some time apart from a person or saying you need a break or saying you need to figure things out um but you're changing you're changing and the people in your life notice that you're changing and you're stepping away whether you're stepping away from people in your life or you're stepping away from a relationship you're you're on this quest to like go out and find someone and one way or another figure it out like either i can put this to rest like i can spend time with this person or i can see them and i can give it a try and if it doesn't work out i know and i can once and for all get it out of my mind or you know i can create a, a new life in that direction you're very very serious about figuring this out you've got six of wands you've got victory right so some of you are winning somebody over those of you where you're in that energy where you're just like you know give me another chance you know you're, you're always on my mind maybe i didn't show it to you maybe i didn't prove it to you you're proving it to this person you're proving it to this person you're showing them that you're in you're in this to win this that you're real that this is legit you know uh, this person also maybe they haven't taken you seriously or maybe they've been putting you off and they're like okay whatever Taurus all right uh, good to hear from you <laughs> I gotta go gotta go to work gotta do this gotta do that like they may be very busy with other things but you're stepping up in some way and you're proving yourselves to them you're proving yourselves to them that like this is real what you feel for them is real that you are making an effort that you are trying you're successfully getting their attention they're taking you seriously and then we're at seven of cups there's there's a little bit of overwhelmed energy very very overwhelmed about how to proceed and what you want to do let's pull a clarifier because seven seven of cups can be confusing energy we'll pull a clarifier and then we'll go into the message from the soulmate You've got Ace of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. So let's see. If Ace of Wands. What else do we have here? Clarify Seven of Cups. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Oh, anxiety. So they want to be with you, but they're feeling anxiety over the connection okay they're feeling anxiety they're overwhelmed they're overwhelmed they're very overwhelmed by the way that you're coming in the passion that you're coming in with the relationship that they're offering you they're feeling very overwhelmed okay and they might have a lot of other things that they've been focusing on keep in mind like i said you know some of you are feeling like you're having to overcome competition that their attention their energy is elsewhere they're trying to figure out how to let go of these other things and make you their focus and that's making them a little bit stressed out so that's something that you're going to have to be very understanding with um taurus this person doesn't see you coming i'm going to be very honest with you this person has written you off or vice versa you've written somebody else off and you don't see them coming and they're coming in so hard and so fast and so intensely that it's going to throw you for a bit of a loop or you're throwing them for a bit of a loop. I have to be honest, Taurus, for the majority of you, I feel you're the one who's going after this person. For some of you, it could be flipped, but I feel for the majority of you, it's it's you're the one who's winning this person over. You're the one who's like showing this person. You're the one who's showing up. And they're just, they, they're, they're overwhelmed. They're very overwhelmed. Let's see what the message is here for you. From your soulmate this is a beautiful deck but the cards themselves are not named the the deck is named 
and I have a link to it in the description, but the cards are not individually named the way that tarot cards individually have names. But we're going to look at the picture, and then I'm going to read a message on the back. So again, here, we see here there's some kind of a conversation happening. There's some kind of an appro uh, approach. Someone's staying on their throne. They're not coming off their throne, but they're hearing you out. They're maintaining, like, their stance. They're um, maintaining their respect for themselves. They're not, like, throwing themselves in any way. And this person is dressed, this person is dressed nice, but they're also dressed very normal, right? They're not coming, like, in a knight's clothing or like in a fancy king's clothing it's just being revealed as here i am this is who i am this is how i am there's nothing pretentious here there's nothing pretentious here it's just kind of like a revelation or a revealing of self from one person to another so i do feel there's going to be a very significant conversation that's going to happen with this soulmate for you in june it says some people come into our lives and quickly go Others stay for a while, leave footprints on our hearts, and we are never, ever the same again. Again, so some of you are like, I can't forget this connection. I haven't been the same since I met you, right? Those footprints on, on, on my heart, like I keep thinking about you. I keep remembering them. There's always a reminder with me of you. You've impacted me so deeply. And so there's just this feeling of like, I, I just, I need to... I need to know more. I need to explore this more. I need to figure this out. Okay. Some of you could have somebody, like I said, coming up to you. But I do feel for a lot of you, Taurus, you're the ones who are going back to someone from the past and just trying to make it right. Because there's just, there's this one that got away, you know, um, having, having to get them back, you know. You know, getting the one that got away, kind of like that's the energy that I'm feeling here. Watch your moon sign and rising sign video, like I said. If you need a private reading, you can definitely schedule one. The link is in the description. You can schedule through Calendly. We can look into your situation and see what's going on for you specifically, your specific energy. Uh, you can watch the cross watcher videos. And guys, check out the weekly forecasts because those are very helpful too. It's about money, career, family life, spirituality, all of the other areas that are very important if we're going to have a successful love life. You know, it's not just about love life. So check those out as well. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Wishing you a wonderful June, my darlings.